Let's talk about the Oscars 2016. What's up guys, this is Joey Wisdom and I wanted to give you my opinion on the Oscars 2016. Everybody has been asking me. I tried to avoid that in my stream because everybody keeps asking. So let's talk about it. I saw it. I was very excited. I was waiting for it for a while. I'm not gonna lie. I have not seen all the movies that were nominated at the Oscars. But let's start with the host, which was Chris Rock. I think Chris Rock is really funny. The whole boycotting situation, first of all, from Jada Pinkett Smith, in my opinion, I mean, she has her opinion and her ways of why she made that video and how black people should boycott the Oscars. And I get it, I understand it. What Chris Rock did was he took the situation and he made it funny. He didn't look like a hypocrite. And I like the fact that he talked about both sides um, of the situation. He was cool about it. And it was really funny how he put a lot of black people into the Oscars and talked about every <laughs> uh, situation. I actually liked the, f the part where they asked like a few people in the hood if they've seen some of these movies and some of them were saying if those titles were real or not. I thought that was funny. Um, so he took that situation and made them look like, hey, yeah, they don't know anything about the Oscars, but they'll go watch uh, black people movies. I like the fact that he made fun of Jada Pinkett Smith because it's true. Um, what I didn't know was because uh, I didn't really pay attention. But when I saw another video on YouTube, I saw that they were there. So it would have been funnier if they weren't there. But I can't believe they actually had the boss actually go to the Oscars and put on a face. Um, so I thought that was funny. And if I was Jada Pinkett Smith, I wouldn't have gone to the Oscars. But hey, whatever. Rolls your boat. Let's start with the list. Um, I'm looking at it right now. Best Picture. The Big Short, Bridge of Spies, Brooklyn, Mad Max, The Martian, The Revenant, Room, and Spotlight. I saw three. Um, I saw The Martian, The Revenant, and The Room. The others I did not see. Didn't take the time. I wasn't really interested. Probably I would have been interested in The Spotlight, obviously, and Brooklyn. And I heard The Big Short was really good. It was a really good movie. I personally can make an opinion because obviously I didn't see the other movies. So I can't really compare The Spotlight one. Actor in leading role, obviously Leo won. And I was just waiting for that part personally because I've been a big fan of Leo ever since I was a little kid. Since Titanic, I think he deserved it. And I mean, compared to like Matt Damon, come on. Come on. I think he did a great job in The Revenant and he was amazing. I want to buy that movie once it comes out in DVD. I loved it and congrats Leo. Actress in a leading role. Uh, again, I did not see Carol. I did not see 45 Years and I did not see Brooklyn so I cannot compare but I saw The Room and I saw how Brie Larson uh, did her performance and I loved it. The Room is really good movie. The reason why I went to go see the movie is because I actually got free tickets and I saw a screening, a free screening. She did a great job. The movie was good. The plot, the whole um, screenwriting was really cool. And I liked the story and the ending was really cool. Uh, so I enjoyed that movie thoroughly. Actor in supporting role, the winner was Mark Rylance. I, again, I did not see the movie. I wish Tom Hardy would have won because he's a great actor in my opinion. But it is what it is. No opinion. Actress in a supporting role, uh, Alicia... I'm sorry if I'm saying it incorrectly, Vikander or Vikander. And then they're just like comparing with Rooney Myra, Jennifer, Jason Lee, The Hateful Eight, and then Kate Winslet. I think Kate Winslet was a great actress. I never saw Steve Jobs because I wasn't really interested in Steve Jobs in the first place. It's just Apple, whatever. Like I kind of just made an assumption of what it was about. I know that I probably should watch it. Oh, one of these days. But I, yeah, I never saw The Danish Girl. From like the clips that I saw, it looked like it was a really good movie, but it's just not my type of movie. Congrats to her. Now, this is what I wanted to talk about. Animated feature film. Someone told me to watch Anomalisa. I, need, I still need to watch that movie. I didn't see any of these animated feature films. I just saw Inside Out. And the winner was Inside Out. I personally don't think they should have won. I didn't like the movie. The ending was really bad. And I was kind of disappointed, but hey, that's my opinion. It is what it is. Cinematography, The Revenant, of course. I was very happy when they won. They deserved it. Of course, watch the movie if you haven't. The cinematography was amazing. I was actually shocked 
at the beginning of the movie and how amazing it was done. Um, so well, it was just well deserved in my opinion. Um, costume design, it was between Carol, Cinderella, Danish Girl, Madame Max, and The Revenant. I personally thought that Cinderella, all the, all the costumes for Cinderella was super nice. And then, I mean, you know, the Danish Girl is like super like Gatsby era, I guess. Mad Max, to me, honestly, I wish someone else would have won, like another movie would have won instead of Mad Max. Because to me, it looked like it was Slipknot in a movie. Like, there was nothing, it was just costumes, like super, super crazy costumes to me. But I don't know, that's just my opinion. I wanted some someone else to win. Directing. The directing, The Revenant, obviously, of course, happy for that because he's a great director. Fantastic job, like, really, I love the movie. Uh, documentary, there was, it was Amy, Cartel Land, The Look of Silence. I saw what happened to Miss Simone um, because she's a great singer. I saw it on Netflix. It would have been cool if she won because I thought that was a, a good documentary, but again, I can't compare. So, And then documentary, short subject, I didn't see any of them, so I can't comment. Film editing, this is my favorite part. Uh, it was between The Big Short, Mad Max, The Revenant, Spotlight, Star Wars. It's, it's kind of, I mean, I, again, I didn't see Mad Max. Like, I need to watch Mad Max now because I want to see why they won. Uh, but I thought the editing for The Revenant was really good. I thought, like, obviously I saw Star Wars. Star Wars, their editing was very simple because they used, like, old school kind of editing because they wanted to keep it just like the old school movies. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't a lot there. I just think it was cool that they kept it simple, you know, but it wasn't anything, like, out of this world in my opinion. It would have would have been cool if The Revenant won. Foreign language film, I didn't see any of them. But yeah, Son of Saul. I figured that they were gonna win because their movie was talked about a lot. I know that Embrace of the Serpent was in Colombia and my actually my parents were talking about that movie. I still need to watch that movie. I, I need to take them to go watch the movie because they keep wanting me to take them. It was between Son of Saul and Embrace of the Serpent because of the topic in the movie. So makeup and hairstyling. Mad Max, of course. I wish it would have been The Revenant. Music. I wish it would have been Star Wars, John Williams, The Hateful Eight. I'm not a big fan of Tarantino movies or anything that has to do with him. You have to be grateful for music because music is what makes a movie. Music is what brings emotions to a person when watching a movie. Music, original song, writings on the wall, Spectre. I thought Spectre was a great movie. The movie, uh, the music was amazing. Production design. This is what I wasn't happy about. Mad Max won. And I think the when it came to production design, I thought The Revenant was cool because it was just original. It was chill. It, you know, it was all... If you look at the movie, everything just went. Like all the colors and just the set. It was... The design was cool because even their, their costumes, what they were wearing, camouflaged with the forest. So I thought that was really cool. Short film. I didn't... I don't think I saw any of them, so I can't have an opinion. Short film, live action, I did not see any, so I'm going to skip that. Sound editing, Mad Max. When it came to sound editing, I thought... I didn't really pay attention to that when it came to watching the movies like The Martian, The Revenant, Star Wars. I'm, I'm assuming that Mad Max had crazy editing because of the way it looked. Sound mixing, they won. I wouldn't know, so I have no opinion. Visual effects, uh, Ex Machina. Uh, that movie, I saw parts of it. Um, I didn't finish it. The effects were cool, so I would agree with that. I mean, when it comes to visual effects, Star Wars, you already know what kind of effects they have. So there's nothing different. Uh, what Ex Machina had was totally different, and I liked it. It was it was, it was was cool to watch. When it comes to uh, writing screenplay, it was a big short. Again, I, I wish I would have seen this movie to actually see it. But I thought the screenplay for Room was really good. The Martian was okay too, but I think that the movie was dragging a little bit. The final one is writing original screenplay. Spotlight one. I'm glad I just I'm just glad that Inside Out didn't win because their screenplay was horrible. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. And so I was happy with the um results. Tell me what you think. Um also the performances when it came to the performances I think that they were great. I think that Lady Gaga and her performance and the topic about people being abused is very important in my opinion because I've heard many stories in college and not even in college, like in, even in the military and other places where even people at parties or get-togethers, house parties, I've heard people just get 
sexually assaulted by other people. And it happens a lot to men and people don't really talk about it. They don't talk about it because they're men. And they'd be embarrassed like, oh, a girl touched you? And it's like, oh, well, why would that bother you? You know, you're a man. You know, so, but it's retarded. I think Lady Gaga did a great job. Why? Because she has passion in what she does. And when you have passion, everything goes as it is. And I like that performance. It was really good. The Weeknd was cool. He's a great singer. Not the best singer, but you know, and I've heard this song so many times. I wish they would have had something different that makes an effect on people. Tell me what you think. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry this video is a little too long, but hey, I just wanted to talk about it real quick. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the stream watching. Thank you for these loyal watchers, regular people. I really appreciate you. Thank you for believing in me. Just caring what I have to say. Peace, be kind, be nice, love each other, and uh, peace. Bye, guys.